we're recording. Now, once you go from cutting out your pieces to having your DNA molecule, you've assembled it. This is the left side. Again, how do you get that left side? Okay. Look at... So, look at your list. I'll leave that up there for a second on the video. Okay, so... That's how we got this sequence. Left side, right side. Make sure you label this. Alright? If you look, this is the first one. We labeled it like so. So how do you get from this piece of paper with directions to the final product? That's how we did it. We looked at the sequence. This is the first base, second base, third base, on down to the sixth one. Its complementary strand, meaning the right side, should be guanine. If we see cytosine is left side, guanine would be the right side. So now we have our DNA molecule. What's next? This pink set of RNA. It's a pink sheet of paper. You're going to cut it out, and you're going to make a new right side. So imagine this. So imagine RNA replacing it, but you're not going to tape it over it. You're just going to use it to figure it out. Here, watch the messenger RNA. Watch the messenger RNA. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off to the side for a second. You'll tape it together, and then now you're going to have a double-stranded double DNA molecule and a single-stranded RNA. That Now, all the directions are on the back part D. DNA to RNA. Next time, we're going to go to amino acids.